All right, so my name is Shannon from Nightmarish Conjurings. Thank you both so much for speaking with me today. I Thank loved, you. loved the film so much. Oh, so right. to start off, Kevin, how does it feel to get back into the Saw universe? I, I mean, it's it's incredible. I, uh, I I never would have believed it. E even even at the end of each one, it's like, well, we're done. But no, we never are. We never are. But I'm I'm hearing people say that this is one of the best uh, of the Saws, and it's the tenth one. It doesn't even seem possible. It it feels like something magical happened. Yes, and for you, Andy, this is your first time in the Saw universe, correct? That's correct, yeah. So how was that? I think it was great. Nick, uh, who's also the director of photography, it, this is his first film, and I just feel like the three of us, you know, with Kevin's guidance, basically, he would uh, lead us to where we thought we'd like to go, and, you know, we brought a fresh perspective. Also, being in Mexico, I think that really helped a lot but we wanted to honor the Saw fans and we looked at the first two films and that's where we wanted to go. And again, I just absolutely loved it. Loved it. it was a great life experience for sure. Well, I was gonna say, it really brings it back to the original. I just watched the original before I saw that and I thought, or saw this one, I thought it did such a great job seamlessly going from the first to now. So what do you think, both of you, one of you, whomever, do you think is going to be most exciting for Saw fans when they see this? <clears throat> wow, there's, there's. I think they have a lot of stuff going on in here. Yeah, so there's it's not just one. There's, yeah, there's stuff that evokes the older Saws, but then there's also new stuff. So I, I, I think they'll they'll love the intricacy of the of the traps and the inventiveness of all that, and then they'll love the the storyline, which uh, you know really goes deep in characters that I think they love. Absolutely. And I think, of course, you know we don't want to reveal, but there's a big ending. Right, something that's never happened in any Saw film. There's also a scene towards the, I don't know, 60 minute mark, you know more about the minutes, but where they make the rope, you know, and I feel like people are gonna discuss what? that for the rest of their <laughs> life. They're gonna talk about that. And I just wanna know again, like when I read that in the script, I was like, I gotta do this movie. This is insane. I actually was in my dining room and I go, oh my God. Like you could probably, it was echoing throughout the house. And then I was just like, I have to do this. This is crazy, because people are going to talk about this forever. So Absolutely. I feel like there are a lot of scenes like that. So I feel like we gave the fans what they wanted. We gave them some new stuff. And more important, it was an emotional journey yes. of John Kramer. And they're going to love that. They're going to yes. take that with them forever. Do you guys have a favorite saw trap? <sighs> talk about this. <laughs> no, I was I vomited know. by the eyeball. Like that, I love that one. Oh, that literally put me in a place. Really? <laughs> I love that, that, that and I love the brain surgery. Those are the okay. two uh, ones that I personally love. I like the saw one in this. He movie. likes number three. Yeah, the third one. Whew. <laughs> well, thank you both so much. I cannot <laughs> wait, 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 wait for everyone to see this. I think I it's such a breath of fresh air for the Saw franchise. So thank you so All much. Right, I love hearing that. Thank yeah, you so much. Of course. <laughs>